Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Innovative City Forum. And also, thank you very much for gathering from all over the world, experts from this field. Uh, thank you very much for coming. This is the fourth Innovative City Forum. Modi Memorial Foundation and Modi Building Academy Hills, the Modi Art Museum are organizing. And we also have a co-sponsorship for MIT Media Lab and Japan Foundation. And we have support of a lot of other organizations. And thanks to you, we're able to hold the fourth meeting. Number four, actually, is a keyword for today's forum. This is a fourth Innovative City Forum. But this week, in Dopungi, and the Toranomon, there will be four very exciting creative events held simultaneously. One is the Innovative City Forum, and the second one is organized by the Japanese government. Culture Sports World Forum is also starting tomorrow at Dopongi. After the Rio Olympic Paralympic Games, Towards Tokyo 2020, this is the official kickoff event. In addition to that, together with that, World Economic Forum organizer of Davos Conference is going to hold the annual meeting of Young Leaders Summit also in Dopongi and around the Toranamon. And in addition to that, from Friday at Mori Art Museum, Dopongi Art Night, a very creative, exciting event, has started. So we have these four events. I believe several participants are participating in those events and have exchanged. This is the first time they're having such events. I hope you will enjoy a mutual exchange and have feel many incentives. The title is Innovative City Forum. We want to bring some innovation to the forum. So at the fourth, a forum this year, a program committee consulted, and we decided to make one new thing this year, not to just have experts speaking here to speak one way. That is also important. Uh, but in addition to that, tomorrow, we are going to have a brainstorming forum. And there will be four sessions with your participation, and of course, there will be expert resource persons participating, but we're going to discuss about the future of Tokyo towards 2035. What will happen to Tokyo in the future in terms of lifestyle, work, mobility, and entertainment? We will discuss about these four themes. And 2035, what will be Tokyo like? Modi Memorial Foundation made a research, is going through a research right now. And the final stage of the research, we are going to receive your intellectual input through the brainstorming. I hope that tomorrow you will participate in the, uh, the sub-sessions for discussion and probe your brain and stimulate each other. Innovative City Forum. Well, cities under global competition, these are intercity competitions, so cities are very important and role to be played by cities are several. But innovation is born from combination. Schumpeter used the word innovation. It starts with new links, new connections. And by linking people to people, company to company, and ideas to ideas, that will be realized by cities. And cities also provide new lifestyles. In that sense, cities are extremely important. And also number four, another number four, we are under the fourth industrial revolution, industry uh, 0 0.4, or 4.0, uh, AI, sharing economy, robotics, these are providing to us a new lifestyle, and the place to provide new lifestyle are cities. City will play important roles. And these will be supported by creative human resources. And in that sense, art is important. And by integrating art and technology, that will lead to new lifestyles. 
That is what I have been vaguely thinking about. So today and tomorrow, I hope we can have good discussions with experts so that I can simulate my own brain before events are being held in this neighborhood. This is a special week. I hope you will enjoy this week. And as an opening session, Innovative City Forum is a forum that I hope you will be able to enjoy. I'd like to thank you very much for your participation. And this concludes my opening remarks. Now, let us enjoy. Thank you very much. And Professor Takenaka, thank you very much. We will now start with the city brainstorming. Professor Takenaka, please. Thank you again. I am Hazel Takenaka. So, in starting the session, I would like to establish a common platform on how to think about cities. So we are holding the brainstorming session uh, from the last few years. This is a short session, but I hope you will be able to enjoy this session to be able to stand at the entry point to think about future. I think you have this device with you, with buttons. I will ask questions to you. and. I'd like to ask you, what are your thoughts about cities? First, just to check whether your device is working or not. I have a simple question. Please switch uh, either one or two. Japan is now aging. The society is aging, and that is a global trend. Compared to 10 years ago, do you think you are older? If you think so, Press number one. If you think you are still young, press number two. Uh, you are not responsible for what you answer. If you think you are older than 10 years ago, press number one. If you think you are still young, press number two. Press your button. The number of answers. 300 or something is here, and the result will soon appear on the screen. Is this just to check whether this device is working? So please feel relaxed in answering. Number one, you are older, 217, you are still young, 157. So how to interpret these figures? It's up to you. 58% are thinking that you are older, and 42% you don't want to recognize the status quo. Or maybe you're very positive. And realists are 58%. And the bullish people are 42%. No, we confirm that this device is working. So I will start with a real question. The first question is, in what direction do you feel cities are moving in relation to urban issues? There are many ways of thinking about urban issues, but do you think cities are moving to a good direction, it is improving, or do you think it is worsening? Please press either number one or two. Please press the button one or two. But many people are pressing the button even before I say press. More than 350, could I have an answer? The response, yes. Those who say improving, 188. Those who say worsening, 170. Well, actually, I asked the same question before. I have a few other questions today. But well, one major point is that compared to the past, your perception, your way of thinking, to what direction is your perception moving? That is what I wanted to check. And actually, in the previous case, when I asked the same question in 2015, last year, it was 50-50. And compared to that, 52.5 and 47.5, statistically speaking, this is, I doubt whether this is a significant difference, but it seems that 
there's a slight increase of people who believe it is improving. This is not a clear trend, but there's a slight increase. What is improving? Well, but there are also people who believe are worsening nearly half. So what does that mean? It's nearly equal. So I hope you could keep this awareness in mind in participating in the other sessions today. Now, next, next question. What will the city ranking of Tokyo be in 2020, the Olympic year? And actually, yesterday, Modi Memorial Foundation uh, is announcing every year this year's city ranking. It was announced last evening, and you can see that on today's morning newspaper as well. Tokyo, ever since this research started, this is a nice research. Tokyo was always ranking number four, but this year, for the first time, Tokyo's position went up to the third. Number one is London, number two is New York, and until now, Paris was number three and Tokyo number four. But Tokyo, because of some factors, now raised its ranking to number three. Now, Tokyo's rank is number three. Now, based on that, by 2020, do you think Tokyo's ranking will get higher? Do you think Tokyo's city ranking will be higher or not? This is a combination of about 70 indicators, including uh, culture, economy, housing. This is an index showing the total power of the city. And Tokyo is ranking number three now. During the next few years, do you think Tokyo's ranking will be higher or lower? Num ranking number five is Singapore, but these groups are also getting higher, and also Chinese cities are starting to get stronger, according to yesterday's research results. You can see that on the web page of the Mori Memorial Foundation. I hope you will enjoy that later. Now, do you think Tokyo is now number three, but do you think the ranking will be higher or lower, or will stay the same? Please choose from numbers one, two, or three. Can we see the answer? Well, those who say will be lower is small, but people who believe will be higher, 175, which means many people believe that uh, Turkey's position will be more than the second. But also about the same number, 141 people believe Tokyo's ranking will be the same, 50% believe will improve, and 40% will believe the ranking will be the same. Compared to the past, how is this different? I'm asking this question every year from 2013. Every year, people who answer will be higher was declining 73%, uh, 48%, or 56%. And 56% believe will be higher. But this year, we have more. And based on that, based on that increase, what do you believe this year? People expect the ranking will be higher, but also many people believe the ranking will stay the same. Unless we conduct a lot of reforms and innovations, it may be difficult to have a higher ranking. So I think this view is reflected on those numbers. Now, so please keep this in mind. And one more question is, what is the most necessary element for Tokyo to seek the best city in the world hereafter to raise its position from number three to number one? Do you think what is necessary economic power, cultural power, technological power, or infrastructure development? Economic power, of course, and cultural power. Tokyo's cultural power. And number three, technological power. The technological power in response to the fourth uh, industrial revolution, infrastructure development, including access to airports. Please choose from numbers one, two, three, or four. What do you think is the most necessary element?
this may be a little difficult to translate other questions. More than 250 people are answering. So you can see that you are thinking before answering compared to other questions. The top one, well, economy, 54. Cultural power, 174. Technological power, 62. Infrastructure development, 75. In terms of percentage, how much is that? 47% answer culture. 47% answer is culture and technology is 17%. Am I right? Yes. Compared to the past, how is this different? Let us compare. And actually, culture. In almost all the cases, people answer that culture is the most important. But economic power is declining, and technological power, people who believe technology is important, is increasing. So that is a trend right now. For the technology-driven people, they used to be uh, for 8.7 to 14.3 is getting increasing and then for the economy power is uh, it's decreasing and this time as well that is a trend and then and also and for cultural power and the infrastructure development uh, we didn't really see uh, very much of the uh, change however and then people who are emphasis on this infrastructure development is increasing what do you think of this compared with what do you think or what is the result would be so those are the issues um, that uh, you have got these um, problems, that uh, you have awareness of those. And then so compared with the uh, economic power, and then the people who uh, support, and this more important thing is the technological power, the people who support uh, technological power more than economic power. And then most decreasing factor here is, sorry, um, it's difficult to see the colors, blue. And technological power and then still there is the importance of uh, technological power that is a trend uh, probably this is um, probably uh, difficult for you to uh, read how, how to understand but I'm going to give you some of the material later on so I'd like you to check how it's going to be interpreted so I'm going to give you the last question right now in Tokyo is a new Number four, please. And we have a new governor of Tokyo, and then Governor Koike, and she is very popular amongst the people, and we expect very much from now on. So under uh, the Governor Koike's administration, how the Tokyo would be? Getting better or worse, or will not change? So please um, press the button, one, two, or three because um, the governor Koike, and she's involved in the year four events. She will be on in and out. So just uh, now we're going to just give the message of a new idea to uh, the governor Koike. So please be honest. So uh, number one, getting better. Number two, worsen. And number three, will not change. So please press the button. over 350 votes as you can see 226 getting better and you see uh, worsen people and 97 people say will not change so the proportion as you can see 63 percent getting better so more than 60 percent said it's getting better but around um, 30 percent of the people say will not change so from my point of view I think it's the uh, get, getting better is much more than this. So I want to just give that a great message. However, will not change is around 40%. So probably I could, uh, I may be puzzled to just uh, give that message to um, the Governor Koike. So anyway, that I have uh, some experimental like uh, questionnaires right now. So, so we have some of the uh, metropolitan issues, urban issues, Tokyo issues that uh, quite a few people uh, recognize it. And as a brainstorming, and uh, we can just tell that result. 
And in, in the past uh, several years of the change, we can see some of the uh, characteristics so I'd like you to keep you in mind. So what kind of the, uh, the concrete action that we are going to take and what are policy. And tomorrow we have a um, brainstorming sex session. And there are four domains that we are going to talk about, uh, like a living work and mobility entertainment, how it's going to be changed. So I'd like you to participate to proceed um, the session. And thank you very much for your cooperation. Thank you very much, Professor Takenaka.